I'm going to be working on. Uh, I'm going to do a quick side view rendering. Or no, maybe a front view, front view, side view. Side view is cool too. Uh, I'm like totally blank on what I want to work on. Ooh, that's cool. For this week, does it really need a Cintiq or something like that? No, I wouldn't say so. Um, I'm going to try to work on, um, I'm going to try to do this today with non Cintiq. Okay. So, personally, I don't really like using Cintiq too much. It's like, it depends on what I'm doing, but um, most of the time I don't actually. And are you recording this? Uh, not just yet. I will okay. be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna after I get the images, and then I'm gonna start recording. Okay. Uh, okay. Not before then, though. So um, I don't want to go too organic again, since I'm practicing. I want to kind of keep it um, pretty controlled. All right, let's see here. Kind of interesting. What did you, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? That's kind of cool. I'm going to gather some imagery, um, just reference, photo reference for lighting. And, oh, that's cool. I like that. that too either way side note if i'm looking over to the side it's because i have i'm on two accounts because the webcam doesn't i don't have a webcam for my desktop and i wish it might work on my desktop so i'm not ignoring i'm not like if my work is on a different computer so if i'm looking to the side i'm also looking at the demo on you on my other screen so just wanted to be clear Thank you. I think, uh, maybe a hand vacuum, huh? I want to do something a little bit more difficult, though. Something kind of like a respirator. I don't know. Respirator. Because it's got like this headpiece, and it's political. It's got parts. Yeah, it's like a clean one. Yeah, just I don't know. I like, like a that. super sci-fi one. What's up? A like super a super sci-fi one. Okay, super sci-fi, done. Here, there you go. Yes. Boom, done. It's even particularly <laughs> from the future. Where somehow, for some reason, everything glitches. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. No, it does, I don't mean like, it doesn't need to be sci-fi. I was just like, you know, whatever. 
Yeah, but I like sci-fi because, I don't know, there's more stuff. Well, the thing is, like, when I'm doing demos, the more stuff there is, it's kind of, I don't know, simple stuff is kind of boring at times as a demo. But in real life, I like more simple design, for sure. It's more elegant. Actually, I'm wondering like how you would render a lot of, like, not creases, but like, I don't know how you would call it, but just how you have like super like rounded, elegant surfaces, but then you have like, kind of like big chamfer cuts around it, like how you would, like that bend around objects. I'm wondering how you would render that, because I kind of have that thing on my glasses, and I'm wondering, like, oh yeah, like that was part of my inspiration actually that photo, but just like, what would be like the best way to render that like three D kind of cut? I don't know how to call it. Like if you just like sliced something in half that was rounded, but just on multiple angles. Um, what I like to do is I like to kind of, I like to create the bubble surface first. I'll show you. I'll do, I'll do like a integrated surface like that on the side. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah. mask usually masks are like yeah I'm gonna take pieces from a VR headset because I can, or it's kind of cool. That's a little much for a gas mask, but could be kind of a lot more comfortable. Right. Some of these things are way too crazy. That's kind of weird, but cool. There we go. There you go, Fran. Done. <laughs> nice. I kind of like it, though. It's kind of cool. I'm going to take it. I'm going to get inspiration from it. <clears throat> it's weird how all this, like, cyberpunk stuff is, like, finally catching. It's, like, catching on now. I mean, it's been for a little while, but it's like now, like really mainstream. I like that mirrored look. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, thank you, Alexander McQueen. Thank you. I need a side view face shield. Ooh, that's kind of cool. You know what's funny is like Asian women have been doing this for decades. Oh, like the moms that'll like walk outside and don't want sun damage. Yep. yep. Yeah. Asian people have been doing this forever. 
now it's like all popular. See, interesting. Yes, yes, yes. Respirator, face respirator. Kind of cool. They have a lot of like interesting designs online right now. What is that? Loomis? It's kind of cool, like a headband with like something that you would put over. Okay. I need a little bit more glass, uh, face shield, glass face shield. I need an N95 mask. Do you guys have masks? We no. have respirator. You do? For the model show? <laughs> um, uh, that's good. Look at that. You're not gonna wear the model shop respirator out in public. It's a little crazy, no? Whoa. It's a little overkill, but it's cool. No, but like, if I wear a mask, people think I'm sick or something, but respirator is a different case. Right, because you're going to like Ralph's with your respirator on? Like people I want are just to go like, out with my respirator on. 
You you have? Yeah. I'd rather have people thinking I'm like crazy than thinking I'm sick. It's okay because no one can see your face, so no one know. <laughs> yeah. Whose smoke detector at home needs their batteries changed? Because I keep hearing this like beeping noise. Yeah, what's going on? A mind you. What's that? Right in, you sound like God. <laughs> <laughs> Thou shall smite you. Um, I think you're echoing. P -p 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 Please. Um, I think this could work. I think it could work. What do you think that? Helmet was modeled in. I'm always curious, like to ask. This? Yeah. I mean, you could do this in a lot of programs. You could even do this in SolidWorks. It'll just take you like three months, you know? Yeah, just surface modeling. Yeah. Like people model really well um, in all different types of programs. Um, yeah. Just, I'm, you know. I'm always curious. As a designer, though, it's like, are you, do you really want to spend that much time? Like, nah, realistically, no. I don't know too many people who are like, yeah, I'm okay with that. I need a female's head. Where's ye? Yi, where'd you go? She went to the toilet. How do you know? Uh, we are roommates. Oh, you guys are? Yeah, she is near me. Oh. Who else is a roommate? You guys are... Hmm. Lola, why is your screen going crazy? What? Your screen is like, your background is oh, so crazy. I don't know, I just put an ocean and if I move, sometimes it moves. Oh. Yeah. I was like, whoa, it looks all like crazy artistic. And <laughs> like interesting. Do you guys do like Zoom meetings with your friends? No. Do you guys ever meet up? Yeah, we chat. The video call. 
We can use WeChat. Yeah. Yeah. My friends are starting to go crazy. They're not used to being at home so much. For me, I stay home all the time. Because I work from home, I do everything, you know. My friends are going crazy. Are you guys going crazy at home? I'm not. Right? You guys are used to it, right? I used to stay at home anyways, so yeah, this for me. I didn't know God stays at home all the time. <laughs> I think the work keeps us grounded. Yeah, I think that's why, like, for art center people, it's it should be no problem. It's just except Fran. Fran has like a social life, right? She's just like, yeah, I go out all the time. No, I mean like the fact that we have a schedule that we need to like get things done at a certain time means like it's time like we have to build our own schedule where like we're not wasting time or like too much time but i know pl plenty of people who actually just don't like utilize their time i think that's the one good thing about art center once you get done with art center like you get hyper i guess like really efficient with your time Yeah. Did you change the opacity or is that just a filter? I didn't see. Oh, it's hard light. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I don't think it's working. Do you guys talk to your parents? Are they like really concerned about you guys? Pretty sure they're really worried, huh? Don't worry, tell them your VizCom4 teacher will take care of you. Then you're like, yeah, I'm really screwed then. Are most of you guys, it looks like, Robbie, are you in your uh, bedroom? This is my living room. That's your living room? Yeah, with my desk and everything. <clears throat> well, how is Yi? Oh, Yi is right next to... I saw Yi on two, two screens. I was like, whoa, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, something, some type of face. 
some type of shield. Kind of like it this. We're gonna use a lot of smart um, smart shapes. Do you think we can do this week's homework with like a mouse and very minimal tablet stuff? What? Yeah, I'm just using all mouse right oh. now. Yeah. Oh, I got to record. Oh, I'm recording. I'm recording the session. It's been recording, so maybe you. Oh, can... you are. I've been recording since you started uh, getting the pictures. Okay. Thank you. You get extra credit. Reliable Fran. Reliable Francesca. Re Fran is reliable. I hold it down. Yep, tell your boyfriend that. Like you don't you don't appreciate this. He can't even hear this because he's got earphones on. He ignored yeah, Exactly. Me. Perfect. Now's the time time to talk. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Jeez. Don't 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 be going around telling this to your department chair. I'm joking. How are your other classes going? You guys doing okay with like product and everything? It's cool. Yeah. yeah, pretty good. Yeah. It's really Except hard. Except the video production. Except video production class, yeah. I, I just dropped the class because I couldn't promise to finish it next term. Yeah. I'm probably not gonna be here next term. That's kind of tough, though. On that end. So do you guys, most of you guys, do you guys plan on taking next term? If they do go online? I mean, they're going to go online, right? Joel? You mute yourself, Joel. Joel, you're, you're muted. My bad. Um, when, do we get, when, do we, when do we get confirmation on this? Um, I think they said in the next few days. Okay. Um, but like really soon they said, so they just have to like make sure everything's good. Yeah. From what I understand. But um, yeah, I'm planning to take next term, but maybe not a full term yet. I don't know exactly. Yeah. Probably. It's just like, if I don't, oh, sorry. Oh no, you go, you go first. Oh, I was going to finish. Like I was saying, like, if I don't take a term next term, I'm probably going to move back for like for a while because there's no point in me like paying rent for like, I don't know, like yeah. four plus months. It's like ridiculous. So, yeah, you know, agreed. But the thing is, we're going to have to pay the rent anyways, if we keep our stuff here, because we're not going to like, 
Well, but storage is nothing compared to, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Aren't storage you? is only like a couple, like a hundred some dollars, like a hundred eighty for like a decent one, compared to like, yeah. you know, fifteen hundred dollars or something like that. Yep. But so then you need to find another apartment, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, that's kind of hard to do. Yeah, exactly. Which is why I might take next term as well. Sorry, friend, what were you saying? Oh, I mean, I was just gonna say it might be a good idea if if they like lower tuition, it might be good to knock out like some academics online. Mm -hmm. Because that can be done online. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if they will, though. Yeah, it's not how, like, it's not a guarantee, right? Like, how do you guys, I don't know. It's kind of like one of those weird things. My, my airplane got canceled. Like, they, right now they only allow one one flight to each country in one week so most of the the airlines to china are canceled right now and i think that we need to stay here yeah there's no way i'm going back probably also like parent parents wise like i don't want to get them infected yeah it's pretty crazy Well, if either of you are like planning on moving, I think my roommate is moving out like at the end of this term or at the end of next term. It's twelve fifty for one bedroom and it's a house. Self promo. Twelve fifty is not bad. It's not cheap though. It's not. Does it come with like its own like jacuzzi? Bathroom? Master bedroom? Master? Yeah, she has a master bedroom right now. It's a two bedroom. Uh, okay, okay. Best part, it comes with a barbecue grill. It's in the backyard. <laughs> the highlight. Dude, it's like... Like grill more anyway. I'm gonna just mute myself. I'm being annoying. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna try to kind of get the outline first a little bit. And then I'm gonna merge these layers together. Wait, since I'm recording the Zoom session, where does it save after it's done? Um, it'll, there's like a it'll save under um, documents, um, C drive, user, documents, uh, Zoom. And then okay. there's like a save files uh, folder. 
do you just want me to give you that video file like on the Dropbox? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. Actually, I'd appreciate that. Getting there. All right. Let's merge these together. Rasterize it. Okay, boom. So we have Is it smoothing the the sorry is it smoothing the oh, am I muted oh no um is it smoothing your selection after you so like after you drew the selection lines or is it just really fine I can't tell uh, it's just fine it's like because the thing is like when you're from this far away you're not gonna really you can't tell yeah okay yeah. so it's better to just do that than like because I it's still kind of I use Procreate for the past few weeks, so I just want to like I forgot uh, like this specific ex the selection. Is it better than just the Bezier curve selection? Like, how would you explain like the difference? Um, and is it a path or is it just like a closed loop selection? What do you mean, this thing? No, no, no. Um, like when you delete the, like the the object, or like when you select what you want from the image and delete the rest, or like invert it. Yeah. Is it? It's just with the polyline tool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's with the. Um, okay. Yeah, polygon lasso tool. You just lasso it in and delete it. Super okay. Fast. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. No. Yeah. Trying to keep it um, pretty, pretty light. Always. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, Jane, can I ask a question? Yeah. Like, um, because, um, Julie told me like you will uh, teach us to Photoshop the product into like um, hands, like different gesture, like before like previous term. Yeah, that's what we did before. Uh, are you going to teach us uh, this term? Um, I, uh, what I kind of, I take a tally, um, if we want to do that, we can do it. I'm pretty sure maybe a lot of you guys might like it. 
uh, because my product is uh, like holding hands. So the ergonomic is all about the hands. Hands. Yeah. Uh, so if um, besides like take photos for the products with the user scenario, mm -hmm. before that, and sometimes we have to like show the sketch uh, about user scenario, like Photoshop it. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. I also have the glasses that I'm doing, so I'm kind of wondering how I would do that with a CAD model later on. Uh, what do you mean? Um, oh, like... Like something. in perspective. Yeah. Or like not even touching it, but just on the face, like really nicely. Because <laughs> that's really hard, I think. It's hard. Um, yeah, and my like um, put on in the hand and uh, put on your face to clean your yeah. face <laughs> to combine. It's kind of hard to Photoshop. Yeah. Also, if it's glasses, the thing is, is the nose bridge area has to touch exactly where the nose is. And then the eyes have to be centered with the center of the, the apex of the glass. Otherwise, it's going to look shifted to the side. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, they're all like good. Yeah, it's. I mean, because you're going to have to deal with it um, in the real world in many ways. If yeah. you can uh, do it, I think it's a good skill. Um, realistically, yeah, like if we can do the hands and yeah, we could do a demo um, where like you're holding it or, you know, where it looks real, the color in the rendering looks correct with the uh, the the lighting also with the hand. I think we need, really need to do that. I just see way too many terrible renderings at Art Center. Uh, people just don't take their time. The thing is, like, even if you learn how to do it, you're just you're like, oh, it's gonna take me like six hours, and you're like, or four hours, and you don't want to do it. Um, but I, I mean, we can go over it for sure. Uh, what's the date? To, uh, we can go over it in the last project towards the end. Make sure to remind me. Oh, thank you. Thanks. No problem. Yeah, that one's a good request because um, a lot of people want to Photoshop um, their products into a photo, but they want to do it like accurately and they want to do it well. So, yeah. Come on, snowboard goggles. Jeez, I'm not asking for a lot. Come on.
By the way, is there anything else that you guys have any recommendations on what you want to learn in this class? I'm totally open to like, this is a good time to tell me. Because we do have, uh, we have five weeks left. So just let me know. Do you know how to do animation? Animation? Yeah. Um, Animation with what? Um, Photoshop probably. Um, I would say before we do animation, I think a lot of you guys just need to learn how to render first. Okay, sure. Yeah, only because it's like we want to. I want to teach you guys advanced stuff too. I do, but we have to cover the bases. Like most people have a hard time just like doing the basic stuff. So. We are going to learn how to render in the environment for this project, right? Yeah, that's next week. Um, yeah. We're gonna do uh, displacement mapping. So that's like with like 3D textures and stuff in Keyshot. Like you want to do stuff like that before animation. You know what I'm saying? Like how to make this foam look like real, you know, and use material graphs and stuff like that. And then by the time you animate then, then it looks good, right? You want to first do that before. Yeah. Give it a little bit of, just kind of like warp everything in there. It's too crisp on the edge. So.
Okay, we're getting there. Uh, what is this detail like in reality? What does this detail do? Uh, well, there's a gap between the mask and uh, the padding. Mm -hmm. So right now, there's no, there's nothing there. Look, it's just there's no description of what's there, right? Okay. But so this is like, you guys ever look at snowboard goggles? Not really. The little vent thing? The vent? Yeah, it's not a vent, but it's for here. There's no vent, but it's just a... Yeah, it, it's just a giant piece, right? Like, that's there. Imagine you take out the vent. It's a, it's a giant spacer. Okay. Like, rubber piece or... No. Um, like plastic. Okay. Yeah. Probably build that in here.
Rush, not S. Come on. where we want to start naming stuff because I'm getting confused a lot. When you guys are buying food, did you guys um, stock up at your house? Yeah. <laughs> what does it that mean? Like store as well? Yeah, store it at your house. Yeah. Where Where else can we store it? Well, like, or are you guys like some students are like ordering like, like. To like kind of delivery food like every um, day. I just store all my food even if it, there's not the virus. Alert. alert. What is that? Get that? Amber alert? No? Didn't got that? What? Your computer is working. Yeah. Yep. What happened with your internet? I don't know. I, I checked out my Twitter and it's, I think it's like the local thing. A bunch of people around Pasadena, like Northern Pasadena area, didn't got internet from a spectrum for a while and it's all fixed up, I think, right now. Uh -huh. Just got fixed right in time, I guess. Cool. Those details, do you like know what they are before you graduate or you're just gradually graduating it and thinking about the details? Gradually. And you already know what those details are like for the function wise? Um, I mean, some of it makes sense, right? Um, I want to have like some type of section here that if I make it kind of like, I'm gonna have a head strap, right? This thing right here. Yes. Right, this thing's gonna have to sit right here, right? So I was also kind of thinking like, oh, this might be like, how does this attach to this? Okay. You know, I'm kind of like, well, huh. I don't know fully, but I need something here that'll, that'll look like it feels like it's attached to that back piece. Um, so on a lot of snowboard goggles, there's generally like this um, edge piece right here, which is made up of something stronger. So like, here, let's go check out. So, yeah, so, okay. <laughs> no. no, I don't want your benefits. <laughs> so, depending on what you're doing, like the strap section here, obviously, this is a frame, right? Like, that's the frame section here, right? Yes. So, it goes through there. Um, but they have goggles that are nicer. 
let's see. Let's go to So I'm kind of like, huh, this could be kind of cool where there's like this extra metal piece right here. Okay. Right here. So I'm kind of like, you know, it might be like a nice metal detail or like aluminum where like, it's like really tough. So I was kind of, but obviously when I'm starting this, I don't, you know, I'm not like, oh yeah, I know exactly what, no. I'm kind of thinking as I go. It's many times I feel like for mine not having much detail, it's because I don't really know what detail I should have there, like what functions are those details doing. Yeah. I think it depends though, like what you're what you're designing. If we know more or less kind of what we want, but we want to like um, improve or, or, you know, make small adjustments kind of like, I mean, yeah, it is the like refining phase. Um, how would we go about it if we wanted to, like if we know exactly kind of or closely to what we want, how would we approach doing this, um, like this assignment? Um, I mean, if you kind of already, well, you would be in, technically you'd be kind of in refinement phase, right? So yeah. you, you know the general shape, right? I know the general face shield shape. That's, that's one thing I already know. And like, I know that I want some type of like respirator inside, right? That does this, like, so I know that. Um, everything else, you're kind of like refining it as you go though, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, I think you kind of just pick and choose and kind of like massage it into place. And it's not, again, from here, I, I think in this phase, you kind of do like a couple, like three final directions or something like that, right? And then you show it to the design team and it's like, it's not perfectly finished. It's almost finished, right? And then you're like, you're talking with the design team, hey, you know what? This metal piece, let's take it out. All right, let's take it out. Oh, we like this piece, let's extend it to the top a little bit. You know, maybe the sponge, we want it to go a little bit higher, right? Like this, right? Mm -hmm. So this is where you're, if you just did this in sketch, you can't have these discussions, you right. know? Like who's gonna read like, like, again, like if you can make that, that decision, how do you make those decisions looking at something at like this? The problem is, is what's happening right now, especially at Art Center, is we go from this to model making. We just jump, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think the problem is, is that um, when it comes to the design process, um, technically you have a lot of students who are not able to to kind of do the middle section. And so you end up either becoming a 3D monkey and you don't really get to design. Right. You end up becoming like I a mean, render monkey. So yeah. um, in order to actually be able, if you want to design on a team, you got to, your skill set, you have to be able to span like a wider skill set. You have to be able to sketch, be creative technically go along like the design process right like as you go you can go to going from something like this right and then you're like you know what we need some more side view ideas and then your your supervisor is like okay we need to present something like this before we're going to go into model making and if you can't do mm -hmm. this you know what you're just going to go model and you're going to only just render and then you don't end up designing, right? So that's kind of the problem. Um, if you're able to do this, you will, you know, it's, it's just a huge bonus. Um, so that's the way I kind of look at it. 
um, that's my personal experience of like what I've kind of gone through. Yeah, it's uh, good. tricky the section right here it's like I need to build some mechanism or something um, If you can do 3D really well, you can kind of like, kind of skip a lot of the design process, uh, the Photoshopping process. But yeah, it really kind of depends on like your office. Um, it seems to me that guys that people are figuring out how to like do ideate and design really fast. Um, I would say if you can get fast enough at like VR, it can kind of help out. I think that's like, a, it's a huge tool right now. Um, mm -hmm. And it's just beginning. So that's why I kind of just, I'm pushing the VR thing. It's not because of like anything else. Realistically, like, do you really want to sit here and, and do Photoshop like this? If you love it, yeah, cool, no problem. Uh, most people don't love it that much, you know, it's not like even me, I don't, I prefer 3D. I love 3D. Um, I still think it's essential though. I just think it's like if what certain things though, if, if a client wants something like really fast, really dirty, and they're like, give me 20 ideas, right? I just boom, 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 boom. I send it out, get that phase done. And then when I go into 3D, it's like easier for me. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really kind of depends on like where you're at, you know?
Robbie, you're all right. You guys good? Yeah.
See how I'm layering everything? Do you guys see how I'm layering, uh, layering everything? What does an exclusion layer do? Are you just dark? It does it just darken it? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I didn't even know I was on the exclusion layer until you you asked. I was like, sure. We'll see if this works. Yeah. It needs to be a little brighter up there. You know, it's too dark. Right. Getting there. This interior section is like it's pretty good. I don't mind it. It's not like completely annoying me. Uh, let's say, by the way, before this whole thing crashes. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. What's Depending on the cut, like a flat.
turn that off. Let's blur first. Let's do a little bit of, oops. Blur, Gaussian blur, just a little bit. Not too much. I'm gonna, just gonna paint away at it.
What is going on? I always have a question like, uh, so those renderings are going to be used to show like, also show colorways and also the changing of the details. And each of them are kind of very detailed. So when we composite those into one page, we kind of couldn't really see what changed, how to solve that. You can't see what changed? Yeah, like if the page is only having one of these renderings, it looks very nice and we can see the details. But uh, in like for the assignment, most likely we are going to show different uh, renderings with different details. And in one page is how to, how to show what changed or how to arrange, composite the page. Well, you should change it enough to where someone can tell. Uh, so how many will we have per page? Like, would it be like in different views or would it just be like, because for me normally, like on my pages, I don't have, like just the way I've organized it usually is I don't like to have it all static, which is just my personal choice, but is it all like, how many would we have per page and like, could we go into smaller details or call outs or? Um, yeah, you can, I would say you can go into smaller details for sure. Um, I would have um, an overall, like a big picture, right? Like uh, one head and then details. Yeah, kind of. like I think it's important when you're doing refinement, like are you gonna, if it's important to show the details, then show the details, right? Mm -hmm. We're not talking like about, we're talking about like refinement in general, right? Mm -hmm. right. Like, yeah. yeah, like so like if you're gonna do refinement and imagine like you're at a studio, what do they wanna see? No one cares about four pages, right? We're talking about like, what would they wanna see? Yeah, like, like the ask content. Ask yourself that. Like, you're like, huh, like, okay. Yeah. So this would kind of just be showing like the vision, like the concept. I mean, if you're kind of in like refinement phase, like almost refinement phase, like it wouldn't be loose sketches, but that's one thing, yeah. right? Because we'd be over mm -hmm. with that phase then it'd be kind of like, okay, we're going to get, we already know what the concept's like, right? Um, we have an idea of like what the package is going to be like. If you're still trying to figure out the package, it'd be like, I mean, I would say like, yeah, yeah. it's like, huh, what phase would you want to do that? You know, I'm like, well, like, let's say like the face mask, and like the head part, like I want to do like, maybe it's kind of like the Oculus, there's a top portion. Okay, I'm, that's one concept. And then like, there's another concept, it's just a straight band. You know, uh, maybe the, there's another face shield, pump, but then all the face shield is pretty flat, like you know you're gonna kind of have one big face shield. So yeah. you're kind of like tweaking stuff, but it should be pretty obvious. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so pretty like just set and like high, pretty high quality, like almost, yeah. almost like a render level quality. So like your, your vision, like what you would show, yeah. you know, like this is, okay, I see, yeah. yeah. I think mostly, I, I think, at, again, at school, we don't do too much. We only do like one final thing, right? Um, because we don't, we don't really design that much. We, we mostly like for nine weeks, you're coming up with concepts. You know, um, in this class, it's a little different. Um, I mean, 
again, if you guys, if you're in your Muji, like your other classes, I would kind of like feel it out. Um, I don't know. Where are you guys at with um, your sponsor classes or not your sponsor, but uh, your other product classes? I think because I'm not in the Muji class. I'm in the Peloton uh, with Jeff Jones. Like we're pretty much set on a lot of the, at least for me, like I, I tried to advance as, I mean, a lot of people did like as fast as I could so I could get to the design phase faster. So I had more time for uh -huh. that. But I think we're pretty much more set with our design at this point. And it's more like executing it, like maybe final details, um, kind of just like this phase. So it's pretty much synced in my opinion, at least for my project. Okay, perfect. How about yeah. uh, Muji? Where are you guys at? Yeah, we are kind of the same. It's about final production, most likely for now. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it seems like, you know, if you guys are, you know, if you show it to like Frito and you guys are on like final concept idea, right? Like final, you're just showing like what you guys have, then it should be, you shouldn't have too many choices. You know, you should have like some couple small refinement choices and then just kind of really show from there. Um, it, it makes sense to me. Um, yeah. If you are about to finish this page, what others are you going to put in this page? What other what? What, uh, like other views or will you put other views or other uh, like explanations? Um, I would probably do like one front view. Okay. Um, for sure. Um, the cool thing is once you get this, this page takes the longest, right? Once you have all the layers and everything after that, once, uh, you know, what I would do is I would duplicate it and I would make some small adjustments, you know, cause I want to kind of like make it a little bit more interesting on some areas. Like for me, what I'm kind of like looking at problematically, right? I'm having a, a kind of a problem is this hinge area, right? Mm -hmm. There's so many different ways you can do it right now. Right. Um, I'm going to make some type of like metal hinge thing or some type of hinge thing right here that's going to like clip to this headpiece right here, right? Mm -hmm. In another piece, this thing might be all like, you know, this back piece might be silicone and it might like come up to here and it might be like a different thing. So I think it really kind of depends, right? Almost getting close to our time limit.
What is this? This white strip. Um, I'm thinking it's like kind of like um, there. I'm gonna have a little part line right here, and this is more like silicone. Okay. I'm again like I'm just trying to figure this out. You guys got to remember like I don't have like all this like design time, you know. I'm like oh my goodness. A little tricky at times, but fine. Does anyone have any uh, questions so far? Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Why is that long?
Why is it locking me out? I don't like that. Wait, do you? Yeah, in there, it's pretty good. I mean, I'm feeling a little bit better about it. Um, we'll call this, we'll call this Fran. You were the one that Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes, a nice Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got an alert. Uh, what's going on? Uh, public safety alert. I think it's the same one you got earlier. Yeah, yeah. It's been kind of going out, like left and right. You have to have the period after a friend. Just kidding. <laughs> Is that? Yeah, okay. Um. Oh, yeah, it's my <laughs> own mask. Have fun getting COVID. <laughs> Everyone else. Oh, man. <laughs> Bitches and trails are closed. Uh. Oh, fuck. Trails are closed? Yeah. yeah. Trails are closed for a while. I was going to go send him on literally right after this. Now it's not happening. Santa Monica? Yeah. I mean, I was sheltering home for like a week and it's just the worst thing. So, I mean, it wasn't necessarily going to go meet someone, but just, you know, get some fresh air. I'm going to step on my patio and go back inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little kind of like sketchy though. Like, I mean, have you guys looked at the numbers? It's kind of like, kind of, kind of. Yeah, I'm going to bring my desktop onto my deck. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, my parents are super worried. Yeah. Yes. You're like, just come back even before the term ends. So, like, make it this happening. <laughs> all the, all the, the Chinese students are like, oh, this is nothing. We've been through this. Is it? <laughs> no one else is, and they're not freaking out. Just, no, I mean, I, I... The only one who's freaking out are like, we've never been through it. They're just like, ah, oh, this is nothing. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Korea's been... Korean's gone through this. I mean, nothing like this. There's something quite similar for yeah. sometimes, you know. It's better than Wuhan. Yeah, I can't imagine Wuhan. Oh, <laughs> my I gosh. Like I mean, parents. You know what? How are your parents? Still at home. Oh my god. For like two, three months, three months. Oh my god. You know why you know why they're so did you guys heard the news that there's no like panic buying in Korea? 
anyway, yeah, that's the case. And a lot of people are like trying to figure it out why that's the case. And here's my theory. Like Korean people know that panic buying's not working because they've done it when every time like North Korea tried to shoot a missile or something, they done it and they know it's not working, so they're not buying it anymore. Anyway, that's my just just that's my theory. theory. It makes Pretty sense. Good. Yeah, it makes yeah, it makes a lot of sense. You're like, what's the point, right? Like, right. Yeah, makes sense. I, I mean, comparatively, come on, like Wuhan. God, I can't imagine what they went through. In, uh, there's a province, uh, like, name is Jiangsu. So it's just beside. Uh, Jiangsu. Jiangxi. Jiangxi? Yeah, it's just yeah, beside yeah. the yeah. Wuhan okay. province. Mm -hmm. And there's a bridge connect the two city. And there's uh, like hundreds of police like lock block the bridge. Don't let the um Hubei Wuhan people get in. And they just uh, like Sleep over the police car. Oh, hey, yeah, they, yeah. They have a like, uh, like very terrible video. I came from Jiangxi. I know, Jiujiang, Jiujiang Da Chang. Jiujiang is like north of Jiangxi. Uh, can you guys see this? Uh, no. No. <laughs> you touch oh, back. Oh, cancel the background. Okay. So, there's a video. Oh, sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Oh boy. I can see it. Oh! Is it, when did that happen? What is it? No. What are they doing? They're destroying police cars? The black one is the police car. Oh, they're like pushing the... Uh, what did you say? They're pushing the, the truck. Yeah. yeah, why do they do that? Look at Pink, dude, that's huge. What? Are you are you allowed to push this? Um background music. But why why are they doing it? Because you know, um people locked at home for like two months and they don't have work. They no. cannot make money and they so, much uh, so everything comes out together and once you are going to like uh, open the city but some people just afraid like the Wuhan people come out so the police just uh, lock them down again so uh, so they cancel the city open Oh, you can see this. Uh, oh, wow, it's a police car. Oh, shit. Uh, wow, imagine this happening in the US. <laughs> oh, it had happened before, it had happened. I mean, it happened all around the world, didn't it? <laughs> I think it happens like 1992 or 1993. Yeah. I mean, there was a bunch of riots. <laughs> and that time, the Korean people oh. is the best right. thing. <laughs> there was a 90, it was 92 or like 91 LA riot. You remember, Jay? Yep. Yeah. If you have the gun to protect your belongings, that's the best way to protect. Fortunately, most of Korean men kind of know how to literally form an army, so. <laughs> Koreans are, let's just say Koreans are ready. 
generally. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> in LA, like, yeah. And do you know the, like, the blood type? It's different. So, get infects is different. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I heard that news. Like the, it kind of, but it's only like four something or like five percent or something like it's not a that much difference, I think. Right. I heard. It sounds a little sketchy to me. I mean, I don't know. Also difference between gender, but it's also like not like ten percent. It's like just a little bit difference. No, the gender thing is I heard because like uh, men in general are just have a lot worse of a habit in general, like because they smoke, they drink a lot of alcohols, they don't work out. I heard that kind of tricked the uh, numbers. So, and do you know like um, the people after get effect or like got recovery, the man, the male should go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Check the ability to have a baby in the future. What? Uh, uh, it will infect the, the how to say, sing <laughs> jisu. No way. You know, like chance of pregnancy of yeah, getting pregnancy. The, the male, not female. I, I smell BS there. I smell BS. I don't. I no. There's no such thing as BS coming from China because they experienced a lot more. No, but like, I don't know. Is they get the report from like a thousands, um, people get infected in Wuhan, and they get get the average of the um, that thing, and they think you should go to the hospital after. But is it is it a like a temporary thing or like a? Because it might be a temporary thing, like oh they, like. I didn't heard about it. Let me see if I can find the research. Is it like the sperm counts going down or something like that? I don't know. Why did they check it? <laughs> yeah, that's also a question. Why do they even check it? They check uh, everything, <laughs> and then they realize the net thing is going down, and then will infect the. Just to get out of the Oh, textual level. Yeah. Extra level? Oh, I don't know. Wait, what's that called? Texture. It, it would make sense since doesn't the disease like damage a whole bunch of your body? Like it. And if you can get recovery, sometimes you will go back, and sometimes your immunity system. Oh, testosterone level. Oh, uh, level. And the. And the disease will go back to your body because the thing is still in your body. And you have to eat the medicine in, in Wait, your is, life. Is there any chance that that's the side effect of the treatment, not the disease itself? It's based on BBC. It says it's uh it was found in SARS virus, and because the COVID nineteen virus is similar, they have uh like assume it or not assume but like assume it to have the potential influence in the fertility or what's it called for fertility. Male. fertility fertility yeah yeah Man, so that's it's depressing it's 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 because of the virus not the treatment but it's haven't been proved yet it's just like recommended to check Because SARS virus would uh, like affect the immune system for the male, but like we haven't we haven't got enough research for the COVID nineteen yet, but just recommended. Yeah, because SARS is um, like influence your life because the treatment, but this one is uh, because the the damage of your immunity system. Huh. How to say uh in English? <laughs> no idea. No idea. 
Oh, is it true? Hepatit. Wait. Hepa what? Can you spell it out? Hepatitis B. Hepatitis B. I'm trying to. Hepatitis B. Hepatitis B. Have you told me that? that <laughs> what? Like, I'm trying to call hepatitis. What? What is that? Hepatitis B. <laughs> hepatitis B. Oh, it's like oh, is it a uh, liver? Like just down to liver. No, mono. Mono could also give that, or like, like symptoms of it. Right. So I should say it's not good. It's really not good. Nope. Pretty scary. Yep. Wackinson. So like if you don't have the Wackinson. Wackinson. Vaccine. Yeah. Vaccine. <laughs> Give me all. Yeah, if you don't have the vaccine, like so it's the same with the hepatitis. <laughs> hepatitis. Hepatitis. <laughs> Class. All right, so uh, let's wrap it up here. Um, as you guys can see here. That looks awesome. I really like the name you chose for it. <laughs> I was very, I was really inspired. Um, thank you so much. Yeah. I can't believe it's not 3D. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You could do a lot with Photoshop. It's actually pretty, pretty surprising sometimes. Surprises me, actually. Oh, I've noticed you can also import some 3D stuff to Photoshop. Yeah. You Put literally just import it and rotate it in Photoshop. It'll, it'll work. Uh, 3D stuff? Yeah. But this is supposed to be before 3D. What? What are you saying? No, no, I mean like this is supposed to be the stage before the three D models are made, not after. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, but you Maybe know. <laughs> just kidding. Three D model. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So um, give it a try this week. Okay. Um, it was pretty fun. It wasn't, I mean, I could keep on going. But hopefully um, this helps out. Cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um, main thing, uh, try to keep it simple again. Um, and then... Yeah, keep it simple. It's all about lighting. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to um, reach out um, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, have a great week. Thank you, stay right. safe. Thank you. Okay. Well, hey, Fran, can you send me the files? I can't send it to you until you end the meeting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, question, do we yeah. still uh, submit the file to the job box? How do you? So next week, do we still? Uh, yes. Okay.